Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Let's jump right in and get started. So I'm starting off priming using Maybelline Master Prime and Hydrating and Smooth and the Smashbox Primerizer, mixing those two. And now with going in with my Dior Forever Foundation, my absolute favorite foundation. All the hype about this foundation is real. Um, so yeah, just dotting this all over my face and using the Morphe M439 um, kabuki brush and just kind of dabbing and tapping that in this foundation is a medium um, coverage so if you like a full coverage you'll definitely have to go in with the second layer I'm okay with a medium coverage I do um, go back in certain areas and kind of dab on a little bit more um, but I skip that in this video and then definitely don't forget to drag this down the neck and jaw area so now using my LA girl pro conceal concealer um, in the shade Espresso to contour my nose. I absolutely love this. Haven't used this in forever. And I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to buff that in. I did go a little ham with this, so you know, just be a little careful. It's very pigmented. And I just dab over it with the sponge um, beauty blender to help kind of blend that out. Um, and now with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I use the shade Light Medium gonna you know the usual places down the bridge of the nose underneath the eyes and I do a little bit on the lip and the chin I'm definitely using a generous amount of this I want that full coverage I'm going for a glam look today it's happening you guys yeah And I like to also place the concealer up against the lines that I did for my contour um, just because it helps sharpen those contour lines and obviously give a little bit more definition and all that. So here I am going in with my Beauty Blender. It is a bit dry, but um, what I just did, I just sprayed it a little bit with my Mario Badescu um, facial spray, just to kind of dampen it a little bit. I like it this way because it... Um, keeps most of the pigment or most of the concealer on your face it doesn't soak up in the sponge and just using very light motions again to keep as much pigmentation as much concealer um, on the face for that full coverage look this is also why I don't mind the foundation being a medium coverage rather than full coverage because I feel like you still create that full coverage um, vibe with the full coverage concealer and here I am going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder, and I am using this to bake. I press this up against the lines of the nose, of the contour um, on the nose, and then lightly spread it over um, the underneath of the eyes um, with a sponge as well. Definitely generous amount, so I like to put on quite a bit of it and then kind of just dab it in, blending it very lightly and some on the bridge of the nose as well and here I'm just using an elf powder brush to just lightly set the rest of the face it's not a necessary step but I'm very oily so I like to do so now moving on to the eyes gonna bring you in a little closer <whistles> and here I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe vault collection I am so excited for this collection I've been looking forward to this for so long here are, there are four palettes in this collection. Each one has a little bit of a um, of its own color scheme. So I'm going to use the one, the yellow one today, and I'm priming the eyes with the shape tape again. I use the shade light medium honey for the eyes because it's a little bit lighter. So I feel like you kind of get more out of your eyeshadows. You see the the colors a little bit more because it's a little bit lighter. Anyway, going in with the first shade, this yellow shade, which is called Access. It's kind of like a mustardy um, yellow. And I'm also buffing this in with a blender brush from Sigma. This is the E35 tapered blending brush. And I'm just really blowing this color out on the upper crease um, area. I do have hooded eyes, so I like to bring this color very up high. Um, and just really making sure it's blown out. So going into the next shade, which is Secure, which is kind of like a like a burnt terracotta orange shade. And I am concentrating this a little bit more into the crease, um, just to give a, an, a little bit more definition. I'm going in with Sigma E25 Blending Brush. And 
quickly just dusting off the bake it was doing something super weird to my face i don't know what was happening there so i had to take it off and here i'm going back in with the concealer to cut the crease um i'm cutting the crease all the way from the inner to the outer corner i like to just dab a little bit on the center and look up this way i know how far up i should go with um my cut crease and then just lightly filling it in i'm using a real techniques um detail brush I'm not sure of the exact name for it but it's the the really little one and now I'm just doing it again quickly to the other eye and just gonna fill that in definitely take your time with this step it can be a little tricky it can get it can easily get very messy and then after I'm done filling it in I like to with my finger just dab onto the concealer kind of helps blend it in get rid of any lines and um just kind of helps set faster a little bit the concealer. So here I'm going in with the shades Guilt Trip and Coin from the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is, by the way, the name of this specific palette that I'm using. Um, just going in with these, these two gold shades. One's a little bit darker, one's a little bit lighter, and just pressing that onto my eyelids. I am using a bigger brush just because I like to kind of just get all that shadow on there you know do it a little bit quicker and then I do go in with a smaller brush to kind of get a little bit more precise up against those that cut crease line um, just to make sure it doesn't get messy and you know it stays nice and neat I was very surprised and very like pleasantly surprised these shadows have very little f um, like kickback and fallout so I was I was impressed here I'm going back in with the shade access on the lower lash line back in with the blending brush and just very messily um placing that in the lower lash line i am not trying to be precise with this i'm just you know trying to slap it on there and keep it pushing and now i'm going back in with the smaller blending brush the e25 and taking that shade again, the access shade, and just concentrating that a little bit more um, just to get a little bit of a deeper pigmentation from the shade. And now going in with the shade Smooth Criminal, which is like a chocolatey warm brown, I will go in using the Zoeva Smudger Brush and just really tightly getting that pressing, pressing that into the lash line. I want to get that... Um, as close to the lash line as possible blending just a little bit I'm still gonna go back in and with the E25 and further blend I didn't show that here but that's what I did and now going in with this gorgeous olive shade it's called top secret and I'm creating a wing liner with this shadow excuse that it kind of goes in and out of focus I realized that throughout the video it kind of um, I've been doing that I've been holding the palette too close to the camera so just excuse that but you can kind of still see what's happening um so yeah I'm just taking an angled um brush I do not know the name of this one or what number it is but um just any angled brush will do and creating a wing like if I was doing a regular wing liner with gel um and just with shadow obviously with shadow it's a lot easier and just I kind of go over it a few times just to make sure I get that deep the, the as much green pigmentation as possible and now for the inner corners I'm going in with VIP and guilt trip and i um, just dabbing onto the inner corners with a Zoeva detail shader brush and I'm also gonna dab that onto the center of the lid just for a little pop here you can see the subtle difference but there is something there so quickly off camera, I went off and did my eyebrows and back to this palette. I'm going to hit the brow bones with those same two shades, VIP and Guilt Trip. And now we're going to move back onto the face using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and a huge Morphe brush. This is an M527 brush. To, I love this brush to bronze. And just, yeah, hitting the cheekbones and a little bit on the forehead. The usual, you know. I also do bring this down the neck a little bit just to kind of 
make sure I have this cohesiveness going on with the face and the neck so yeah and I'm quickly gonna just dab on some blush I use the shade party from Tarte this is the little mini one and this is just a Target brush it doesn't have a name or a number um, but it's just a blush brush from Target and I'm going in with the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula to further contour and define the nose so now I'm spraying generously the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the Chamomile Lavender Scent, and I am obsessed with this. Um, and just quickly feeling myself fanning this spray. And quickly went off camera and put on my lashes. Now for the highlight, I'm going with the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia. And I'm mixing these two shades which is Forever Young and Glow Getter and using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighting brush. Absolutely love the glow of this of these highlighters. It's amazing. She did so good. Love it. Also going to dab some on the nose and on the top lip as well. And going in again with another generous spritz of the facial spray from by Mario Badescu and again fanning myself feeling myself who else does this and I felt like something was missing from the eye look so I went in and popped on some nude eyeliner this is NC 20 I believe from MAC cosmetics the eye pencil the chromographic pencil and I definitely think this completed the eye look for me. So now moving on to lips, I am using Dolce K Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics. Absolutely love, love her lip liners. They're so creamy and soft. And um, now going in with Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick. Love this shade. I feel like it's an oldie but a goodie. Um, it has like a slight pink hue but it's a nude it's definitely like a dark a bit of a darker nude and then going to top it off with the maybelline vivid hot lacquer in the shade tease and i definitely feel like this completed the look i absolutely love how it turned out i thought about leaving the lips matte but this definitely did it for me and that is the finished look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe all products will be listed down below and i will see you in the next one